Yo, what's up? It's your boy Currency365. Hope you guys are doing well. Legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Uh, if you want to support us, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also you can come down here and hit the join button uh, under the video uh, or in our channel uh, section. And you can also join our Patreon, patreon.com slash currency365. And uh, we also have Cash App and also PayPal uh, for support if you want to sell some seeds. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video and keep the movement going. Legends. Bye. All right, all right. Welcome back to Currency 365 Lunk Community, USTC Repay Community. All right, so Lunk has re um has um dropped a zero, and um so now we're back to um basically one hundred dollars gets you um one million Lunk tokens again. All right, so if you didn't take advantage of the cheap prices there in the nines, then you know it is what it is. But um. I did tell um, Patreon that um, this morning that, you know, that I, you know, Apostle talked about Gary Gensler being removed for Crypto Mom and uh, for a woman we all know is Crypto Mom. Um, and I'm hoping it's this week. I'm hoping it's this weekend, this week coming up, this week coming up, going into um, the, the end January, going into February, which everybody believes is going to be a bullish month um, and a lot of um, wealth transfers in the month of February and March, uh, massive wealth transfers in February and March. And it's going to kick off with Shiba Inu auto burns. It's going to kick off with Gary Gensler and the Fed's. Um, speaking about the coming rate cuts and 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 the uh, you know easy money that are going to be coming into the markets, um, those things right there are going to kick. The, they should be able to kick this thing uh, into into gear, and we should see a nice altcoin season here of altcoins doing 10x to 50 to 100x. Anyway, between 10 of some altcoins will do 10x, some altcoins will do 100x, 50x, 15x, 30x, right? And so we should be we should be in gear. And look, we have uh, you looking at the chart. You see that wave five is is wave four is done on Lunk here, and wave five is about to begin. And that puts us right in that time period of February and March, right? So to complete, you know, wave five, you know, going up. We don't know how how fast wave five is going to go up because it's not really a violent wave unless it's in the climax um, of a uh, of a cycle, right? So. Um, so it could take it could take two months to complete wave five up to that point zero zero uh zero six zero five area. It could take three weeks. It could take one week. I don't know, right? So, um, but you see how violent wave three is. And wave five is not usually not as violent as wave three, but it can go. But it's not. It's definitely not this, right? So, um, but it is what it is. Um, but it still can be. It can still be violent, but it is never as violent as three. Um, and it's usually double of three, right? So it could be double, double of three, but it's usually most of the time you'll see it either double three or be maybe sometimes it's only, um, you know, 10% higher than three. Like it could just go here, right? To, to that, to that three zeros in the three area, right? So, um, but we, we, we have, we have a target of that, you know, three zeros, five, three zeros, six area. Uh, it could do more than that. It could, it could go, to, it could go to, uh, two zeros and a one. Right, it could we could drop another zero. We could do two zeros and a one here. All depends on how bullish the markets is. And if Gary Gensler is 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 out for crypto mom, then the markets are going to go completely nuts. All right, um, and that's how, ding 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 ding, that's how. And this is like I, like I told Patreon, if Gary Gensler is out, folks, for crypto mom, that's how XRP cases drop fully. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a video on that because that's how the case XRP case will be fully dropped, right? In my opinion, is because Gary Crypto Mom just drops the case. This is nonsense. Let's get out of here. Do you know what I mean? It's not waste people tech players money anymore. And also, it's another. It's a. It's how all the cases are dropped. It's how Doquan gets goes be, is able to escape the fat lady, right? So, I guess we'll see how that all plays out. Right. But um, yeah, isn't that interesting? So if Gary Gensler is removed, I ho I'm hoping he's removed next week. I really am. 
Um, but that doesn't mean he will be. He, he could literally be here until summer or all year and just cause complete chaos in the crypto markets. Um, but either way, well, let's pray. Let's pray that Gary Gensler is out of here uh, next week. You know, and that and that and the markets absolutely just send, right? And so it'll be a great all coin season if that happened. All right, so there's your one, two, three, four, and now we're waiting for wave five to come in. We already put in the A, a B, C, D, E. So we're waiting for wave five here, um, and uh, nice movement here on Lunk. All right, so yeah, so we're up today. We're up five percent today, like we should be. If we're if we're going to be beginning wave five here, and uh, let's just see how it plays out, man. Let's see how it plays out. We're up. We're up. Uh, 93% of volume, and we're up 5% of the market cap. So we we did hold that 500 million, which is cru which is crucial there. Um, and uh, hold that 500 million, bounce back up to that 750, and then see if we can get back to that tr um you know that 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 um billion that billion mark and up to that you know maybe one to three tr three billion mark. Um, okay, so that's where we are right now. You can see that we we keep dropping in circle and supply, which is good. That's a good sign. The more we drop, the more higher, the faster the price goes to the upside. So we just dropped another two billion from yesterday's video. We had an eight there. Now we have a six. So we just keep dropping and circling supply. Then, you know, this thing's going to absolutely send. I mean, it's that simple. Um, all right. So let's go here and uh, let's go to Terra Luna. Another one that's going to absolutely send. Um, if, uh, if Gary Gensler is removed for crypto mom, this thing is going to $20 quickly, <laughs> you know, um, because that means that Doquan is going to be, is go Doquan and Terra, uh, Forms Labs are going to be set free, right? So, and also Coinbase and everybody else will be set free as well, because these are just stupid lawsuits, right? Um, unfortunately, and Gary's just playing with the people and wasting people's taxpayer money and all that stuff. So, anyways, um, 65 cents here, up 8%, uh, rocking. Look at this thing. This thing's rocking, man. Luna 2.0, ready to launch here. And uh, like I said before, my 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 tokens, they they don't, you know, my tokens uh, are are gonna be set free on on in like two weeks. So this thing can all that information and news can come out in the next two weeks. Gary Gensler out for Crypto Mom and and the SEC ready to cut rates and all this man this thing is gonna freaking launch and my and my two weeks is gonna be up and i'm gonna be sitting there like oh snap <laughs> you know what i mean like that was perfect timing you know um so let's see how this one plays out as well so um but my goal is to just re my goal is just to restake it on on um on the terror station at you know at 19 percent apy apy APR, right? But if this thing pumps to twenty bucks, I, I'm I'm gonna be like, Shh, let me let me take this out of here and be and become and be debt free, you know, um, and just and pay off everything I need to pay off, you know. Uh, so that's what I'm probably gonna do. That I'm probably gonna do that instead. So let's see what happens over the next two weeks here for Luna 2.0 and see if we can skyrocket up. And there, uh, USTC helps support burn it all validator. He's Burning USTC. Oh wow! Wow, you burn it all. Burned uh, sixteen thousand. Wow. When do we when do, when when do we do that? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, okay. So sixteen thousand. Wow. I know Brad burned seven thousand yesterday. I didn't know. I didn't know that he. I, ain't, I don't. I don't know him. I don't remember when he burned sixteen thousand. But okay. I don't know where he got that from. But maybe he did. I don't. Maybe, maybe he added his own. I don't know. I have no clue. Maybe he sent maybe he sent um some tokens to the burn wallet. Or maybe somebody used Brad's um burn it all address to send to the burn wallet. Right? So I, I don't know. Okay. Um yeah, maybe he maybe they did. I don't know. Maybe they could have done it that way. I don't know. Okay, so um point zero uh two. Okay, two cents in the six. And we, we called this one this week on Patreon. So we had a good week. Nice week. This is when we called it, most likely. I think this is when we called it on Patreon. It was a couple of days ago, somewhere around in here. So nice recovery there on Patreon. So you you, you could have got it that in, in, on Patreon around 2, 2, 2, 3. And now it's at 2, 7. So that's a good week. That's a good recovery week there. So up, And then today you're up 7% alone. So 
what a week there on Patreon for, you, for anybody that got the uh, alert on USTC. So that's nice. Up forty-one percent in volume, and we up seven percent on the market cap. So, all right. So that's what's going on, folks. Let me look at the year chart and see. Yeah, looks like it's also ready to 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 get going again as well, right? So ready ready to break this downward cycle. We, we're right on support. Right, we're right on major support there, and so it's time for the bulls to take over here, break this downward trend, and break it to the upside. And we're looking for ten to ten to fifteen cents on USTC, and then we're looking for a pullback, and we're looking to settle at a specific range, and that is the range of the dinar. Okay, um, so that's what we're looking for. Let's see if we can get it, and if we do, good. If we don't, then it is what it is. We're human beings, and we can make mistakes. You know what I mean? All right. Um, the L1 t um, security upgrade is not passing. It's still got a long way to go, though. It's still got three days left, so it could pass still. If other validators come in and think it's necessary to spend $51,000 on security, then it could pass. Um, so, you know, if, I know I know that Happy Caddy Crypto, uh, Happy Caddy Crypto, did I say Crypto? <laughs> Happy Caddy Crypto. Um, bought a yes on this. I, I I know that he he did that, but uh, a lot of people don't want to spend fifty one thousand dollars on security. But maybe we need it. Maybe we don't. Has anybody gotten an outside uh, third party in, um um opinion on this? You know, so I don't know. Like we should be getting we should be getting outside opinions on it. Binance should be giving us their opinion on this. Anybody contact Binance? To get their opinion on this and see if we we should do this or not, like they're the ones burning, you know, their money. So they they should be involved. They should be involved in this. Um, they should be involved. Uh, you know what? You know what would surprise and shock us if Binance started if Binance started staking, if Binance took some of those tokens, like let's say a trillion tokens. Or two trillion, like yeah, a trillion token. Binance took half their tokens, uh, like a trillion tokens, and they started to stake. Luna Classic price would skyrocket, right? Now, of course, we would, we would, our, our staking reward would be terrible. But who cares if their the value is up ten x, right? So, um, we would definitely skyrocket ten to fifteen, maybe even thirty x. If Binance staked a trillion tokens, um, that would be insane. Anyways, uh, I just thought about that. Binance could literally stake at any time, any moment. Like they got a new CEO, so they he doesn't have to not have to stake. He might want to stake. He might, hey, let me let me let me skyrocket the price of Lunk by staking. If Binance stakes a trillion tokens, Lunk's price is gonna skyrocket ten uh, x to hundred x. So. I mean, they could. They, I mean, they could do that if they wanted to at any moment, right? I don't think they will, but they could do it though. That would be a shocker, and lung price would absolutely skyrocket if Binance did stake a trillion tokens. Okay, so um, let's go to the burns here, and uh, twenty-five million a day. We had some good burns lately, and uh, let's see what we did on a week so far. Oh yeah, we almost had a billion on a week, so that's. Uh, Finally, back to a billion on a week there, and USTC burns have been lousy. But yesterday we had fifty six thousand, but we're we're not even nowhere close. And it's just been lousy, right? So, um, burn it all did burn seven thousand plus yesterday. So, but the guy said that it was um sixteen thousand. So, I don't know. anyways, uh, we're back to fifteen percent on the staking, so that's good. We're Acute, we're, we're, we're putting money into this, uh, we're putting, we're locking up tokens into staking and that, that's helping our, the price of lunk go to the upside because we're reducing the circulating supply. I mean, we don't have to burn. You can just reduce it by staking, right? If you hate burns, then just stake, right? So, um, community pool, four billion in community pool, right? And then we got a USTC, we got a 8.2. All right. So there you go. And let's take a look at the stats. We got uh, 52 million in burns, and we got 449 million uh, came in for uh, staking. So now we're at 15%. Block time is at six seconds, and the burn all validator did 7,230. Yeah, I don't know where they got that 16,000 from. I don't know, but um, yeah, we did we did 7,230 yesterday. 
Uh, DF Long can teleport V2. Nice job there for these guys burning um, a Lung tokens and reducing the circulating supply every day. Firefly Capital is up 2.5. It seems like people are just moving money around to the same, like the, the, the different validators um, and pretending that um, they're going to be different than the other ones that they were staking with. I, I don't get it. If, they, if they're not burning tokens, then you, you just you're, they're not going to be different. All they can do is just sit there and collect money, right? So all they did collect rewards. I'm not sure why people are just continuing like to de redelegate over here, redelegate over there. It's like they're all just going to collect money unless they're burning tokens. Um, so I don't know. So, you know, just moving from one delegator to one, one, one person to another person to another person to another person. It's like, okay, it doesn't really do much if they're not burning, if they're not burning USCC or lung. It doesn't really matter. Oh, there's stake bin, stake bin. Um, at number two, four hundred and sixty-five million came in the stake bin. Now, stake bin doesn't burn any tokens, but they're providing a platform that we all use for the lung community for to to get all the information. So that's valuable in itself. And I did say stake bin. You need to add, put some ads on here so we can you know, put some ads down here, put some ads here so we can, so you can earn some revenues off of the AdSense and then you can burn it for, for Lunk or USTC or for the repay, man. Um, I mean, get a, get a Google AdSense account and, 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 and put ads here, right? So when we click on some, you know, a, you know, a nice little five second ad pop up or whatever or ads on the side. And we get to, and you get to generate some income and, uh, and you get to, um, you know, what is this? Hold on. Let me see. Okay. You get to generate some income and you get to maybe uh, buy back and burn USTC with it. Um, okay. So let's go to the validators to wrap up the video and let's see what's going on. All nodes is back over 151 billion. So all nodes, the, the giant. All nodes is at the top there, stopping the uh, security. So they got more delegations because they they voted no against the security in the in the fifty one thousand um, uh, that we we would have to waste from the community pool. So um, Orion Interstellar Lounge who also voted no as well. Interstate one, Jesus Lord, I don't know. I'm not sure what Jesus Lord voted. Did Jesus Lord vote no or yes on that proposal? I, I don't know. KuCoin doesn't vote at all. Stakely and then Happy Caddy Crypto voted yes on the proposal. Um, and uh, Luna Station One, a uh, Luna Station eighty eight, excuse me. And then T T uh, TCB that rounds up the top ten, and then the rest of the valid. I see Moon Rabbit is moving up the chain here. I know they're doing a lot of promotions, so they're trying to move up the chain. And people are people are worried about Ninja Ninja Node, Moon Rabbit, and uh, Stakely. These three people, these three um, validators, there, there's people are looking, investing, doing their investigations, and they're they're saying, wait a minute, this, are these people, you know, are being paid by Luna, um, Luna 2.0 to to take over the chain and and uh, and then you know, destroy the chain? I don't know, I don't know if they are or not, folks. Um, it's just going to depend on how we see them vote from now on, right? If they start voting against. The, like things that are clear, you know, good for the chain, then you, then you, then something's up, right? And we can just, you know, all you gotta do is call them out and uh, immediately, right? So I'm not gonna say anything about them. Uh, I did say that they're probably gonna block the 1.5 percent burn tax, um, which they have the right to do, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like they do have the right to to block it. So if they don't like it, right? So it means the free countries, decentralization, all every man for themselves in DeFi and you know, it is what it is. If you want something to pass, then you power up. If you want something to, you know, if you want something not to pass, you power up. Either way, just every, if you power up, you're going to have more power. Okay. So, um, that's what's going on, folks. Um, Vegas is about to hit that six billion. Good for him. And, uh, the burnout validators in the top 50. And, uh, okay. So the rest of the validators can't forget the rest of the validators down here as well that are trying to power up and, and, and get get their stuff together as well. 
and they have taken the journey with with uh, the, the uh, Lung community to secure the blockchain and uh, to be a validator. So um, good luck to you guys down here at the bottom, and hopefully you guys can rise up, and hopefully we can see all validators at 100 million, uh, well, not 100 million, but one, at least um, you know, 10 billion or more. You know, can you imagine all of the validators are at 10 billion? Like, no validators under 10 billion. That would be freaking awesome. All right, peace out. God bless. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.